What's happening, YouTube? It's K Mega 405 live from the 405 where I'm just your regular gamer talking to the intelligent gamers. Now, as promised, once I got done with this particular game right here, I was going to give my very first review. I still don't like calling it reviews because it's my opinion on what I think about this game. But it's a review, I guess. So, regardless, let's get into it, right? So, God of War. As everybody knows that followed me or see what I was saying on Facebook and on Twitter and other social media sites, that I was nervous about this game. I was completely nervous about this new direction that was going. Um, what Santa Monica was doing with the, with the dev having to make all these different changes, taking it from the Greek mythology, which of course, because the Greek mythology was done, and taking it to the Norse mythology, which is not my favorite mythology, but I digress. There were still other things about this game that had me concerned, especially from earlier on in the beginning, reading articles basically saying that the combat was going to be uh, limited. It, the game is going to have a different type of vibe to it, the boss battles, all different types of aspects that just made me completely almost turned off from the game. To the point to where I said I wasn't interested in it. Had a lot of people up in uproar. But regardless, I was deciding that once I would get this game, this game was going to be probably in the, you know, in the bargain bin. It would probably be $30 or less. Now, I was going to get it off of Z for $30, bucks, uh, but that fell through. And I was just going to wait. A lot of people was giving me a lot of hassle because of something that I said beforehand by while I was watching this game. Uh, I watched the entire ending and I watched pretty much of the very beginning into the and maybe a little bit of the middle not so much of the middle after playing it and seeing that I missed a whole big gap but uh, and, I, and I said that for what I seen I gave the game you know an 8.7 you know what I'm saying just basically just giving it a number people took it as that I gave it a review I said for what I seen for not what I played not what I did with the game it caused a little uproar but other than that here we are and so the game is complete. Uh, there's still some things that I definitely want to do with the game. Uh, I'm almost done with completely everything. I think I'm about maybe 80% done. Uh, I still got three Valkyries and a couple of lures to get. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and I got to do maybe about, like, I think maybe 15, 14 of those um, Odin birds or whatever. But other than that, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty much done with a lot of the, of the lures that... Uh, that was through the rest of the game, throughout the game. So, this is how I look at it. Okay, the game is definitely one of the most beautiful looking games that I've ever seen. It is top notch. Uh, the lighting, particle effects, the facial animations, the voice acting is solid. Uh, this game looks amazing. It is definitely one of the best looking games of this gen. Um, this game also has a strong presence. Uh, and, and, and due to how I fell in love with Hellblade. Uh, this made me appreciate this game a lot more because, like I said, I wasn't the biggest fan of Norse mythology, but once played Hellblade and then those crazy puzzles, and you start to play, you start to get the same type of feel with the puzzles with this type of game here. Uh, it gave you more of an appreciation and an understanding of how these puzzles work. So there was some pretty uh, crazy puzzles in here, and then of course I played it on a harder setting. So the game was quite challenging at times uh, until I got this armor, as you see right here, it was the Dwarven uh, Archer. I think it was when I uh, got the third dragon, I was able to get the proper armor and everything to where it could be forged and the dwarves can make it for you. I think that's what, that I know that's what this armor is, but I think that's what happened. But regardless, uh, the game itself, like I said, it, it's cool. It's a good game. Uh, it would have been a shame that I missed out on the game because I really wasn't looking at the getting this game. I thought about maybe trying to get it, like I said, on the bargain bin. But probably by that time, I probably heard everything about this game. And, you know, the haters would have probably just made me just stay away from it pretty much because I just wasn't interested. Now, with that being said, I have to give a big shout out to uh, Michael Johnson, which is... Uh, uh, Sin Vendetta, he was the one that got me the game for me and told me to give it a chance. And then after I finished the game, 
make a video, give my impressions of what I think about it because I'm missing out on the gym. Now, overall, is this game the game of the generation? No, it's not the game of the generation for me. Now, as you can see, this was one of the problems with the game. So uh, let me just get into the parts that I wasn't the most pleased with. This was definitely one of the most annoying things of the game was the boat riding. It wasn't so bad in the beginning once you were getting to the locations where you needed to be and you were listening to the story so much. Uh, Kratos was not being a good storyteller, which uh, that's fine. But once you got to getting to the side missions and you had to use the boat and it just was just too much. Like, I get it. You wanted to just see, you know, the scenery and it was a time filler. But then again, it was more to me that once you got the orb to where you can transport to other places, it kind of left you in a confusing state of where you actually need to be to try to find whatever you were looking for. And you have to recap all of that. So you would still be better off taking the boat to go to that location. That's how I looked at it. I mean, that's how it was for me. But it was a little bit too long, too tedious for me. Another thing that I was not a fan of were the buttons. I was saying that from the very beginning. I cannot stand using the bumpers. I know that you can change the settings to where you can use the buttons, but the camera jumps on you like crazy. Uh, and to me, that was just annoying. I mean, uh, it, yeah, you got more comfortable with it throughout the game, especially once you got uh, certain powers. And, you know, he would, his movements would go a lot better with, with his combos and things of that nature. But still, the triggers were just, it, it just was too Dark souls just for me, and I'm not the biggest fan of Dark Souls. Uh, and so that's so I was kind of like, eh, you know, but again, you know, saying I got through the game, you know, what I'm saying it wasn't that bad. Uh, but those were some of the two biggest issues that I had with the game. Of course, the game had glitches. No game is perfect. Uh, but it wasn't enough to say that the game was broken or that it was unplayable. You just probably got to restart a couple of times and that was it. Didn't want to show any of the story because I feel that for the people that haven't beat the game or haven't even bought it yet, uh, I didn't want to take away from that. It showed more of the side stories like fighting these Valkyries, which are very difficult. These chicks are no joke, as you can see, as Kratos is getting his head beat in. But once you beat the Valkyrie, uh, it's it feels meaningful because you really have to put in a lot of work to beat them. But I really want to give a big shout out to... Um, Michael Johnson, uh, Vendetta Sin, who hooked me up with this game, you know what I'm saying, and that was just and told me to, hey, he says, give it a try, tell me what you think, uh, do it in a video, and, and just say if you like it, if you truly like it, or you still feel the same way, and I have to honestly say, I do not feel the same way about the game like I felt about it before, so that's why I have to eat the crow. Uh, my review score for this game is definitely a solid 9 out of 10. Um, this is not for me the game of the generation that distinction holds to the witcher that is my game uh that is my favorite game of this generation uh the god of war is definitely not far behind uh also quantum break to me is not far behind either i definitely love what quantum break brought to the table and this is just basically to me just a good 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 solid game and it revitalized god of war because i was not stoked about the whole Norse mythology, like I said before, uh, the direction that it seemed like it was going, but it had plenty of action. Uh, devastating, the, the move sets are awesome in this game, uh, especially with the chaos. And I caught myself playing with the axe a lot more once I knew exactly how to use it. It took me a minute to learn how to get it, but once I started adding enhancements to it, I kind of liked using the axe a little bit until things got hairy and I had to use the chaos. The, uh, the uh, Blades of Chaos, but like I said, this game is top notch, and it's well done, and big kudos to Santa Monica, this is definitely by far the best PlayStation 4 game to date, uh, and it's a bright future for this game, and uh, you see for the changes that they made, they made the right choices, again, like I said, the boat riding, please get rid of it, because it was so tedious, but everything else about the game pretty much was solid and definitely want to know more about the lore and how Santa Monica put their twist into this game just kind of like they did with the Greek mythology uh, so it's, it's, it's a testament like I said I have to eat the crow 
that's fine. I don't mind being. I'm always going to be honest about about the situation, however it is. But I have to definitely uh, have to give a shout out to to my boy uh, Michael Johnson for, for hooking me up for it because I wouldn't know. I probably would not have gotten this game, and I would have missed out on PlayStation uh, PlayStation Four's best title of this gen so far. So. Definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts about it. Uh, like I said, I give it a nine out of ten. I, I think this is uh, it's got a bright future for it. And uh, Detroit is next. I don't think I'm going to be doing a review for that. I don't know if you want to make me. If you don't not make me, but if you want to hear me do more reviews, let me know. Uh, I might start doing more, but other than that, I had to do this for this game. And uh, as you can see, this is so boring. God, I was just like, oh, this is a, when uh, Mjolnir or whatever his name was, Mjolnir, the, the, the head was talking and telling those stories, those was cool, but it's still, oh my God, that was killing it. But like I said, this is a good game. For any PlayStation fan out there, you need to get it. So everybody have a good night. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. Peace. Riding with the boys and girls and we're high All we want to do is have a good time Young, wild and reckless is how we live life